Follow my cheap profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Or I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot, sniffing out the college cheese as always. In today's video, I have a brand new one-play touchdown play from my new favorite offense, the Gun Spread Y Flex. Last week, I showed you guys uh, a new defense that I'm using, and I was using Georgia in a playoff series, and I also showed you guys just a taste of this new offense, as this is something that I recently found when I was updating my Georgia offensive ebook, and it became quickly one of my favorite offenses. I'm going to show you guys a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game, but before I do, I do want to mention that this is only for college football or at least i think so because the play is the doubles in but i couldn't find this particular play in madden I typically i try to cover both madden and college in the same game if you guys want to see more videos like that please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section and if you guys need more help or more money plays you can download my georgia offensive or any of my ebooks instantly send by clicking links in the description or the top hand comment now before we pick this play there's really two routes that are two receiver positions rather that are going to be uh, the most important so i want to make sure that i have my best two receivers there i would say the most important one is going to be this slot receiver here so make sure you have your fast or your best receiver there and then your second most important is going to be this this is where the two one play touchdown uh, routes are going to come from they're not going to come from anywhere else so just make sure you have either your two best or your two fastest receivers in these two spots now just like the last spread offense i put out in college from the byu offense there is a trick to get four wide receivers on the field here where you just have to go to your packages and basically rotate over until you hit strong slot or even wide receiver slot it really doesn't matter as you see it basically moves the tight end to an outside position i would much rather have him out here but at the end of the day it really doesn't matter because when i select that now when i hit my wire triangle to bring up my my options for substitutions you can see that we can replace delp which is technically a wide receiver spot with a wide receiver so we're going to go ahead we're going to put four wide receivers on the field we're going to have our four fastest wide receivers on the field by using this trick and now you can see oscar delp who's number four is nowhere on the depth chart we have uh, 11 16 5 and 6 all four wide receivers so i would definitely recommend doing that as well if you're running this offense other than that's going let's pick the double ends the first play we're going to choose on defense we're going to go concept to concept here we're going to pick uh cover two we're going to start with that and work our way back so cover two tampa two and you can see when i pull back that we have four wide receivers rather than three receivers in a tight end definitely a helpful trick as far as cover two goes the only thing we have to do and the only thing we're going to have to do for most of this play or most of this video is put the x receiver on a post and then another uh, trick that's going to be good to get used to because it's going to be important when it comes to some of these defenses is putting the y receiver in a motion to the left all it really does is flip the two receivers but having the y receiver at the line of scrimmage is going to be beneficial so this is all i really got to do here and you'll see how the y receiver is going to get open outside uh, because that post route is just going to keep that safety home. And we got a very easy one-play touchdown against cover two. Like I said, this is going to be the same way against a lot of different defenses. And pretty much every single time I make this adjustment with this post route, either the Y or the post route is going to be the play. So we'll pick that play again, and we're just going to go coverage to coverage here. I don't even know. This video should be quick. We're going to do cover three sky next. Although realistically, this play is best against matching coverages like cover three match. So I'm going to go ahead and pick cover three match first. And then we're going to do the exact same adjustment. Like I said, just put this guy on a post. This here is really a good concept. This is where I found this concept to be most useful. It's against matching defenses like this. Although against matching defenses, I really don't have to make any adjustments. But you can see how having that guy uh, in a cross pattern like that just made him get even more wide open than typical. And you'll see how uh, these defenders will get crossed up, which is something that you see a lot when you have two routes intersecting like this. As you can see, he's just going to basically set a pick on the guy. He would have got open anyway, but you can see how he just sets a huge pick and gets this guy open by about 5 to 10 yards as we get a very easy one-play touchdown for this play here. 
Where you will need this is gonna come to Cover 3 Sky, where we're gonna pick next. When it comes to Cover 3, it's the same setup. I would recommend leaving the X Retriever at the line of scrimmage if you know it's Cover 3 regular, because that'll give him a little bit of a head start. But we're gonna block our running back as well. As you can see here, we're maneuvering the pocket pretty good. And you can see we get that pass out once again over the top of the cornerback, who for whatever reason is held down by that in route. Typically, in routes like that don't hold the cornerbacks down but it does in this particular play. So you can see right here, I don't know if it's the lack of action that basically makes this guy just stay down because you can see he kind of mirrors that in route pretty well. And then he basically just lags off and does nothing. While this post route here, once he gets inside the safety, you can see that cornerback's nowhere to be found. And he's just gone for another very easy one play touchdown with no real adjustments other than that one. So we'll pick that play again. We're gonna move over to cover four. We got cut for quarters, cut for pawns, pretty much the same thing. We'll pick cut for quarters. For this play, same setup. Just put that X on a post. And like I said, you're just basically watching. If you can't read defenses very well, you're just basically watching for which one gets open every single time. As you can see, the post route has inside leverage and just gone right in front of the cornerback once again. Cover four regular though is gonna be a little bit different. So let's go ahead and let's pick cover four drop. Now this play here, I could do the exact same setup, but you'll notice it's not gonna work as effectively. I'm gonna have to add a step to this. As you can see, this X receiver does get open. I mean, it's, it's not, it's obviously a very small window, but we can make that window much better by making a motion and making an adjustment. So we're gonna motion this guy across, put him on the street, put B on a comeback. And now if we put, I mean, we could put Y, like I, I don't really need to have X on a post at this point. I can put Y on a post and it's gonna be a little more effective because he'll have less distance to run. But you can see how he's just wide open now. And I might feel a little bit too late for the one play touchdown, but you can say, hey, we got in there anyway. So you can see how against cover four, this is one of the few defenses where there's a very different setup, but it's still very easy to beat this defense. And we'll also do cover six and cover nine because a lot of people like to run these type of coverages. So let's pick cover six. For cover six, pretty much the same setup. You just gotta post this guy once again. Uh, we're gonna see how the Y receiver is gonna get open very easily. As you can see, he gets open outside. I'm pretty sure that the X receiver is gonna get open the same way too, as I didn't see anybody coming his way on the, uh, on the cross. As you can see right here, he's wide open on the other side. Nobody even covered him. So that's a play where really nothing is getting covered between these two receivers. Next up, we're going to do some man coverages since we pretty much did every zone coverage. Uh, starting off with man zero blitz. Let's go and let's pick the LB blitz here. This play here, you're just going to put the running back on a, uh, you know, I, I would say put him on a block and release and then slide protection so that you pick up the blitz um, because a regular block and release, he typically goes out in a pattern too fast. But this play here, got a lot of good man check downs, but if I put this X receiver on a post one more time, you can see how number one, the Y receiver is wide open, but the post route could get open too. And this is another scenario where I might want to move this guy to the line of scrimmage. We'll go ahead and we'll change our blocking structure one more time. Like I said, add this guy to the blocking and you'll see how Y is going to get open, but the X receiver should also get open, which is really all I wanted to show as both of these routes can really score against just about every single defense in the game. Next up again, man cover one. We're going to have a very similar effect. So let's pick cover one hole. So we'll block the running back because that route doesn't beat anything and put the X on a post once again. And you'll see how, once again, we get a huge interference there as this guy just basically sets a huge pick, monster pick once again for a very easy one play touchdown. But the X receiver can get open too. So just make sure you're watching to see who gets the separation as I can really throw to, to Y. I mean, right there, that's a huge pick. That should be like a penalty in a regular game. <laughs> but you can see how wide open that guy gets. But like I said, the X receiver does get open sometimes as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll try that one time. Like I said, right here, looks like it's gonna be the look that I want. As you can see, he crosses and we get a very easy one play touchdown to both receivers. And then last but not least, we got cover two man. So we'll go ahead and pick this. Now, if you're not reading defenses very well and you wanna to try to run this the same way by putting B or putting X on a, on a post, um, then you just have to put B on a 10 yard out route. And this play can still have success. As you can see here, I can get this ball to the outside here, although a catch and run one play touchdown is very difficult, especially where I'm basically located on the field. But you also have the ability to hit the post route if this X really misses on the jam. As you can see here, he does get separation. And then you have an opportunity to split this uh, the safeties for a catch and run. But the best way to run it is just to motion across B and put him on a streak and then put A on a 10 yard out route. Although you don't even really have to do that. We'll block the running back once again. This is gonna be the best setup. as it's gonna help both the Y receiver get open, but but you're gonna also see how I'm just gonna be able to get this guy just wide open. So I'm gonna end the video there. Uh, we did show this offense in gameplay. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll have that popping up on screen now. So just click links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.